I've had some questions come in over the internet and thank you for sending them in. The first question is, what is your view of AI in music? Does AI destroy individual talent and creativity or enhance it? To be honest, I think it's a bit of early days to, dis to be certain about the answer to this question. I do think that it will uh, make it difficult to tell the difference between human produced music and human written music and computer written music. I mean, you can ask the computer to say, to write a song in the style of the Beatles and add the chords, and that's ridiculous. The second question was, how much does it cost to get started in music production? Well, that's an interesting question. Most people um, have a computer already, and there are free digital audio workstations like, not, not Logic Pro, but Reaper and Audacity. You can get free versions of those and they can run on your computer. So you won't have to buy the software for your computer. You will need a microphone and the range of costs for those start at the very basic from £20 up to thousands, but I would say stick to within £20 and £100. You won't need to buy treatment for your room if you, if you happen to record in your bedroom, because usually people use the curtains and the fabrics on the bed to dampen down the sound. Uh, the third question was, what is the best way to distribute your music and get it heard by a wider audience? But I would say the best way to do that, one is to perform the songs at local open mics and at folk clubs and try and get yourself into pubs to play. Actual distribution would take place via organisations such as DistroKid or Ditto Music and they often require you to pay a, a yearly fee but you can release as many songs as you want during the year. They will push those songs out to all the digital platforms for you. So Apple Music, Amazon Music, in fact, there's, I'm only mentioning two or three during this video, but there are hundreds of them and they're all over the world as well. Additionally, you can set up your own Bandcamp site. You can sell your songs directly from there to your fans and you can also sell CDs from there to your fans. Felix Doe is available on all digital platforms, including Apple Music, um, Amazon Music and Spotify. You had to go. To Felix Doe. I didn't know. Our special thanks to Irvin for walking us through the production of his music in the five parts of this series. If you know of any local talent that deserves wider recognition, then please leave a message in the comments and we'll do our best to spread the word a little. <laughs>